Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you remember from our recent review of the Miu Mini Plus, it had Wi-Fi, and as we only had the one unit, we couldn't test the netplay feature. In today's video, we're going to do just that. Grab a second Miu Mini Plus and link him up. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble. This Miu Mini Plus came from the shop Lingzd. They sent it to us for free so we could make this here video guide. It's very similar to the one we had in our video review, but this one is purple. The colour here is reminiscent of the early fantastic Game Boy colours, but if you had to choose one, it'd probably be the black. This one came with a generic 64GB microSD, and the game files are very different. In order to get netplay working, each system needs to run the same ROM file, same version of RetroArch, and need to be running the same emulator core. In order to get these synced up, we can make a backup of our microSD and use it in the other unit. Of course, if you bought from the same seller, you can probably just skip this step. Now that we have the same system on each handheld, we can set up the Wi-Fi. Go to the settings tab on the right, and ensure that this is connected to your home network. If you don't have a wireless router, you can create a hotspot on your mobile phone if it allows you to do so. So once we're connected, we can go back and start a game. Please note that it won't work on every system that's on the device, we know for sure that Netplay works with NES. So let's start up Contra. As we're connected to the network, at the bottom it'll say waiting for clients. So push our menu button, and go down to Netplay. Netplay. Fishnet stockings can look fantastic. So this brings up to the Netplay menu in RetroArch. The one on the right here is already set up to be host, but we'll show you how to do that now. Press back, go down to Netplay, and then go into Host. It's already running as host, so it says stop here at the top. But if it's your first time in this menu, you'll have to start it like this. Boop. I'll say we've joined as player one, and on our purple unit, we need to connect. If you can't see the other Miu device, you can restart it and maybe refresh. If you can see local Miu player, select it, and we should be linked up. If you notice any delay or a different screen, we should restart the game on the host. So go down to native menu, press back, back, go up to quick menu, and then restart. And now, we're good to go. If you want to play a different game, we can simply load it up, and most of the process is already done for you. Let's try the very popular Street Fighter 16. The host is already set up, so all we need to do is join. Quick menu, net play, and there it is. An absolute classic. So, let's get into some proper gameplay. Of course, this can run Famicom and NES, no problem. Mega Drive. Super Nintendo. Okay. And some more arcade with Neo Geo. From time to time there may be a bit of a hiccup, that's probably due to my network connection. We hope you enjoyed our guide. If you want to know how to get this working on Onion OS with more emulators, please check the video guide at Retro Game Corps. While I play with myself, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Thanks guys, you're the best. Sorry I wasn't around this video, Emu Chicken didn't give me any space to speak, and I was making sweet tea with seven of the nine in the back seat of my car. But I, 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 I John Luke, and you should definitely subscribe to our lovely channel, Engage the Sticks.